Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back to the 100 cats and dogs challenge. I lost a little bit of audio this episode, so I'm gonna quickly take you through the highlights of that part and then we're gonna jump back into the let's play like it usually would be. So first of all, I gave my house a little makeover, nothing much, but I did switch out the litter box to a self-cleaning one and also the food bowls to automatic ones that fail automatically because, I don't know, it just makes my life a little more easy and also gives me a little more freedom to do different stuff, I guess, <laughs> to do more in this let's play, to explore more and to see more new things, probably go to different worlds and stuff that I wouldn't be able to do normally because I'm just busy cleaning out the litter box and giving my pets food the entire time. We then tried to adopt a new cat for Tigger to breathe with so we could have some kittens but that didn't work out because they were all neutered is that the word is I don't know if that's how you how you pronounce it at all because I've never heard that said out loud but they weren't able to get kittens together so that didn't work out but I did find out that you can encourage her to breathe and then it will show all the strays that are around the area so she can breathe with strays around the areas so that's gonna be an easy fix then obviously Tigger did a lot of stuff that she wasn't supposed to like drinking from puddles <sighs> fighting with Oliver <laughs> so much stuff jumping on counters scratching like ruining furniture scratching furniture just a lot of misbehavior going on there but she did become really good friends with lola they were all like hearts she stuffed to each other and then she also became companions with tilly which was really really nice because now tilly is both companions with lola and with tigger and just like all around animal cuteness like lola and who is not called asparagus anymore the puppy were sleeping together in one like bed and it was really cute and also i changed asparagus name so i think it's time to rename asparagus even though asparagus is a pretty good name i think it's time to rename her also we can just take a closer look at her because look at that tiny tail just wagging her tiny tail that's the best thing. Also, head tilts are just amazing. Okay, I have a name picked out that is by... I hope I do this right. Snowy, I have no idea how to... What to call... Nope, wait, I can do this. Snowy, I have no idea what to name this account Pancakes. There we go. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if... It like, I don't know if it pulled up anywhere, so I just did that from memory. <laughs> I hope I got that right. But I'm gonna pick Maple, because I think it's such a pretty name. But I... <laughs> I mean, how can I pass up on this? I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna call her Maple Syrup. I'm sorry. How, how could I not? <laughs> so we're still gonna have a really fun, exciting episode where we're gonna work on breeding for a little bit. Because look at Tigger. Oh my god, Tigger, please. <coughs> Please, okay, lecture, lecture, please learn at some point, please. Oliver is apparently um, also not neutered, or however you pronounce that. Even though when I adopted him, he was supposed to be, so that's kind of weird. But I don't want to with Oliver because it's like, I he was a kitten like one episode ago. And it's still like in my mind that he's a little tiny kitten. So I don't I don't want to get into that. But we can definitely encourage her, Tigger to breathe with Mayor, Mayor Whiskers. That would be fun. But I think she's gonna go breathe with Mayor Whiskers now. Can we follow her? I kind of want to follow her. See where she goes. <laughs> she's gonna go on her own adventure. There she goes. Off to meet Mayor Whiskers. I don't know where he is, but let's let's find out together. I want to close this up because I know people are annoyed by it. There's lots of birds around. Mayor Whiskers? Oh, oh, that's a pretty cat. Who are you? You are pretty. You are pretty. Are you male though? Oh, you're you're an adult, but you're called Abby. That sounds like a female name. Although, who's to say, right? I think Mayor Whiskers is gone. Or maybe she's calling out to him. Like, Mayor Whiskers, come find me. I was supposed to find you, but I cannot find you. <laughs> Mayor Whiskers? Are you anywhere to be found? I don't think so. <laughs> Where's Mayor Whiskers? Oh! <laughs> I hear a dog, but she she's singing. That's just the cutest thing ever. Like seriously, <laughs> is this like our mating call? 
<laughs> is she calling out to M- M- Mayor Whiskers? I want to say Mr. Whiskers, but that's not his name. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work, Tigger. I don't. I can't find him either. I love that Lola is just friends with everyone. She's just like really friendly to every single pet that comes into the house. Unlike Tigger, who keeps being really nasty to uh, to Oliver, but Lola is just really, really nice to every single pet that comes into this house. So she's just a really good companion for Tilly in this journey. Tigger. I mean, not so much, but Lola just keeps singing little love songs to everyone, which is adorable. Okay, so spoiler alert, I tried many times, but it never really worked out. So I went online. I did my research and it turns out that pets need to be friends first, first b before they can breed. So you can't just breed with strays. All of a sudden they have to become friends first. Uh, so I'm gonna have Tilly cook some, I don't know, franks and beans. Is franks and beans vegetarian safe? Oh, it isn't. Okay. Um... So I guess we're gonna make a garden salad because we cannot really make anything else. I'm also gonna click this because it's annoying that it keeps doing that. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have her take care of herself really quickly. And then we're gonna probably go to the computer again, see if we can adopt now. Also, can we just look at the little puppy before it's not a puppy anymore? Because we really need to take in this time because it's a cute little puppy. Oh, is she not feeling well? Or she's just making a lot of sound. Maybe she misses her friends because she doesn't know where they are. Wait, how- Can she walk up the stairs? I thought she wasn't able to walk up the stairs. Is she just stuck here now? So she's carrying down the puppy. She's gonna go to the computer, see if we can adopt a adult cat that is not neutered. So uh, the uh, Tigger- Wow, well, it took me way too long to, <laughs> to think of that name. Tigger is gonna um, come upstairs and eat from the salads. Yup. Tigger. <laughs> really? I mean, she did put it down on the floor, so I can I can see why, but still. <laughs> Tigger! Lecture about eating human food. She's literally just doing Is she is she mischievous? Because I don't think she is. I don't think she's mischievous. No, she's talkative, she's affectionate, and she's curious. She's not mischievous at all. So why 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 are you just making my life more difficult than it should be, Tigger. Okay, so she's Watching gonna lecture for it. jumping up on the counters, and she's also gonna. <gasps> it's a freaking miracle. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> we did it. We made her learn not to jump up on the counter. Can we just praise, praise, feel the love? Can we pet her? Can we praise her? Can we... P every single friendly thing that we can possibly do to make her feel loved, we're gonna do. Because, honestly, hug her. Just do all, all of the good stuff. Because she... Thank you, Tigger. Oh, thank you. Awesome. Yeah, you did it, Tigger. You did it. You learned not to jump up on counters. It only took us... How many episodes? Like four episodes before you could finally do it, but you oh, did it. Yeah. Nope, we're out of luck. All of the adult cats are nurtured, so we cannot adopt one to breed or mate with Tigger. That's just not an option. So I guess we're gonna have to make Tigger and all of our good friends. That's literally the only way to do it. And I don't know how, I don't know what their friendship is at the moment, but they really don't seem to like each other. I can't really check, so, because they're not playable. But what we can do, and I've seen this, I can not encourage her to breed with a cat, but I can also encourage her to be friendly with another cat, although I'm not seeing it. <laughs> Thank you. 
So it's now the next morning, and since we're having so much trouble having Tigger breed with any cat, I've decided that we're gonna try for puppies instead. Because Lola has a lot easier time being friendly to other pets, as we've seen throughout this episode. She's been really good with every single pet that comes into the house. She's just very friendly towards any anyone. So I feel like we're gonna have a way easier time getting her to breed with another dog than we're gonna have tigger breed with another cat at some point it's gonna be good we're, we're gonna at some point it's gonna work out for tigger just not yet wait oliver is sleeping outside what are you doing here oliver we have lots and lots of beds in the house what why are you out here like he's literally like all the way from home what are you doing here oliver can we get her because i don't like that can we call her I really don't like that. I don't like when she's all the way over here. He's. He? He's. Yeah, it's Oliver. Oh, oh, oh! Maple has grown from a puppy to an adult dog. I said that we had to cherish the time we had. I knew she was going to age up. Maple has grown from a puppy to an adult dog. She can now swim, climb stairs, go for walks, and start learning tricks. If not spayed, she can now mate with other dogs. Hooray for Maple! Look at her! Look at her go. I'm so curious to see what she looks like. I know she's not like the cutie kind of dog. And she was when she was a puppy. So I, I know it's going to be so different. I'm so curious to see what she's going to look like. I don't even know how big she is. Oh my god. Can you tell that I'm really excited? <laughs> I just got really excited from that. Maple syrup. <laughs> oh, she's tiny. She's still tiny. She's just... I can totally see that. Oh, look at her. Wait. Tilly, can you can you move a little bit? Yeah, she is kind of like a tough dog, but she's tiny too. So it's and she still has the tiny tail. <laughs> I can totally recognize her. Oh, she's really pretty. She is like kind of a tougher dog looking, you know? But she is really pretty. And oh my god. Oh, she's gonna be amazing. I love her already. Oh, I want to interact with her. <laughs> We're getting sidetracked so much. But like, seriously, look at her. We know she's not a puppy anymore, you guys. Puppyhood goes by so quickly in this game. I kind of... I mean, I love when, when sims age up or when dogs age up. Because I love seeing the change. I get so excited for that. Oh, lecture about barking. Maybe just not yet. Like, let's pick her... Uh, let's pet her first and... You know, hug her and cuddle her and just welcome her to adult life. Rough house. Oh, because she's uh, active. Oh, they're just like playing around. I do that with my dog all the time. She loves that. She loves just like... <laughs> yeah, I do that. That is like the exact thing I do with my dog. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. I'm totally giving my dog active them because if I'm going to create her in The Sims, which I'm planning to do, I'm giving her this trait because I do this all the time. Like, she loves playing, but not really with toys. She just likes jumping around and like challenging us a little bit. Not in a bad way, but just like in a playful way. So this is exactly how I play with my dog all of the time. Okay, so we're now back on track. Let's try to have her be friendly with a dog in the neighborhood. Maybe Blue? That's a Priya's dog. Like the friend we made in the second episode. <laughs> I mean, Maple is female, so that doesn't really work out. But I feel like Blue might be male. I don't know if he's neutered, though. We can try. They already have kind of a friendship bar. So if I just ask her to be friendly with him, maybe they can build it up a little more and Gotta maybe possibly that. breed Barb at some better. point. Like a Tigger just running around being very, very, very active. And just... <laughs> I love it when they do that. They just like run around the house like crazy animals. Blue. Is she gonna go? Can we find Blue? 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 Where are you? That rhymes. <laughs> okay, different strategy. We're gonna invite Blue and Lola to travel. And we're gonna explore some kind of like dog park or something. Because I haven't been to many worlds yet. So we might as well just take those two dogs and travel with them. I don't know if that's possible. Also don't know that. But we'll see. It does say everyone is coming with you. So maybe it is possible. So I think where we're going is the Pupperstone Park because it's dog friendly. So it seems like the right area to go. I know this is Whiskerman's Wharf. And sorry, my voice just went. Uh, Whiskerman's Wharf is more of a cat place. But this is like 
It's also like the fat place, but it's also more of a dog place because it has the dog park. So we can definitely go there and see how that looks. Okay, so we're here at the park and I've never been here before. So I'm also really excited to explore. But also I see double hearts on blue. So that's a good sign, right? Also, <laughs> we should probably figure out if blue is male or female <laughs> because it's going to kind of ruin our plan if blue is either neutered or male. Um, or female, sorry. So please be... Oh, it's female. <laughs> Dang it! Dang it! It never works out for us, does it? Are there, like, any other dogs around here? Like, just just any kind of dog, please. At this point, I'm pretty much begging. <gasps> there's a dog, there's a dog. Oh, and it's very cute. Who are you? Please be, be, please be male. You're cute and you're... I have no idea what that means, but can we do the friendliest possible introduction and then have Lola meet? Please let it be him and please let him not be neutered. It disappeared? Really? How is this such a disaster? How are we not finding any... Any dogs around here? It's a freaking dog park. Get your together game oh is that a dog is it a cat is it a dog i don't know let's see oh it's a what <laughs> it's a piece of wood <laughs> <laughs> is it a dog is it a cat no it's a piece of wood round of applause for me <laughs> good job <laughs> I think that might be the stupid stupid <laughs> wow I can't even speak anymore that might be the stupidest thing I've ever said in the let's play so we're gonna travel again this time with all of my pets but we're gonna go to the dead grass discoveries mu museum because I've heard that there are lots of strays around here on this island so we might find a couple of strays for Lola to become friends with and then breed with and maybe possibly become pregnant hopefully so we're now at the island with all of our animals. Uh, so we might probably, hopefully, find some strays around here. Also, there's this guy named Rusty around here that we might be able to breed with, with Tigger. So we're gonna try that too. Although she's not really friends with him, but she doesn't have the encourage to be friendly interaction. So there's really nothing I can do about it. So we can at least try, right? Also, look at Lola and Maple playing. <laughs> And being friends, isn't that just cute? And Oliver in the background too. And Tilly encouraging Tigger to breed. I don't think she wants to. <laughs> I really don't think she wants to. So that's fine. We're gonna give up on that. But what are you doing? What do you want to do? Pets. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, her lowest friendship bar is with Oliver. So it's good for her to bond a little bit and pet. <laughs> just Mabel is so active. And Lola's just like, yeah, not gonna happen, Mabel. I like you, but I'm not really in a mood to play. Oh, she is in a mood to play. Just a little less than... <laughs> a little less than Mabel is. So I guess we can also just try to encourage Oliver to, to mate with Tigger. I mean, it's worth another shot. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I mean, I can encourage him to mate with other cats, but I mean, if it, it, they're not gonna give us kittens. It's just like, I mean, I see the hearts, but they need to have hearts together. I've seen the interaction. It's just like a bunch of hearts. So yeah, it's not gonna happen, is it? Oh, maybe she's walking over to take her. Maybe, maybe. Oh, no. oh, 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 wait, wait, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. She is reacting to cute moments. Also, <laughs> her face is me <laughs> when everything, when anything really cute happens. Her face is me. I need a screenshot of that because look at her face. She's like, it's so cute. I can't cope. If you've seen any of my reaction videos to the trailers, that's my face. Literally. But, oh, do not eat anything of the ground maple. Oh, no. Oh, no. But I feel like it's going to happen. Is it fine? Where are they? Is it gonna happen? She's reacted to a cute moment, so it might happen. <gasps> if it's gonna happen, I'm go gonna be so happy. Although <laughs> we've tried so many times. Like, I fast forward forwarded through it, but I tried so many times to get them to breed, to mate, to become pregnant, to have kittens. So many times. So if it's not just gonna happen out of nowhere, I don't know what happens, but apparently it might happen. It might happen. <gasps> I hear the music. It happened. It finally happened. Thank God it happens. Oh my God. 
it happens. We did it. We did it. We did it right. I don't know if she's pregnant. We're going to find out in the next episode. Wait, she's a hunter. Wait, maybe the interaction is not done yet. Maybe it's not done yet. Oh, she's just playing with Lola now. Oh, are they fighting or playing? I can't tell at this this moment. It feels like they're fighting. Sigur is just like, oh, wait, what's that? React to pet gifts? What? Wait, was she dig? <gasps> she wasn't... Oh, I wanted to tell her off for digging, but she wasn't digging. She was she was giving us she was giving us a present. Maple, you little angel. She gave us a pres present. Look at all of our animals. They're all in the shop right now. There's so many. What did we get? Is it any good? <laughs> did we get something nice? I don't know. Is can we open it? Did we pick it up? Oh we can. Okay. Can we open it? Open the box. There's I didn't even know this was a thing. Never heard of it. Found one bear essential gnome. A gnome? That's cute. I think it's in our... It's probably in our um, inventory. We can put it in the yard. That's gonna be cute. Although, can we... Okay. I... Mm, should we... No, I think it's better to just wait till the next episode. Because then it's gonna be like... Um, spoilers. Not spoilers. Cliffhanger. That's the word I'm just looking for. So I think I'm gonna wrap this episode up here. I'm so glad it finally worked out. It took me some time, but it worked out. So... As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys very soon. Goodbye! Bye.